maximum density with your tube flies. Every once in a while we have to just get heavy flies to go deep and tube flies historically have taken a little bit longer, sometimes a lot of bit longer to sink than your traditional sink shank flies. Um, but there's a lot of benefits to using tubes. Um, there's benefits to, to both but uh, I like having both in my box and if I need to get down in a hurry uh, with the tube fly this is my favorite way of tying them to achieve that and this this offers a much higher density and a much faster sink rate than traditional weighting. Uh, first I'm going to take a piece of Pro Classic and clear and medium and create a little well on the back here where it's bumped up. And I'm going to take a large flexi weight and pop it on and that well acts as a stopper. And I slide it on the mandrel. And I'm just doing that to get it out of the way. This is a piece of large classic tubing. I'm going to well this up just a little bit. Let it cool. You don't need to well this. This is going to be the back end. I just think it looks better. More of a finished fly. And now this piece of large will pop over the back and this will operate as my junction tubing. So this is going to be like an external junction uh, versus like a tied together or an internal junction. We can put that on after the fly is done. We can put it on now. Either way it doesn't really matter. But first, before we get tying, I'm going to add a little zappa gap to the tube. I'm just going to roll on my flexi weight to make sure it's covering as many sides as it can. Push it up tight. And tie on my thread. I'm going to tie in just this little thread dam here to kind of taper it up to my weight. I'm just going to run a thin, thin layer of Zappa Gap over the top of the flexi weight. These are slippery. You don't have to add that layer, but I always do for good measure. It's too far. zap to the thread and that will make sure that my thread does not slide off the back anywhere and now we can run up depending on the size of the intruder you're tying you know barbell ice here this fly will probably extend that long this is going to be a three inch fly and I'm happy with that Time my barbell eyes. Do one figure eight. Zap a gap the thread. Okay, move her back. Now we are ready to start our fly. And I've left this little piece here. I, sh I almost didn't, but I meant to the whole time. Uh, this little open area, and that's what our junction tubing will just slide onto. And we can do a lot here. Let's go. Let's just do like a purple and pink thing, I guess. And we'll just 
just tie like a little quick basic intruder. This would be more of the just standard utility type, nothing super crazy fancy. here with your fox this thing's kind of getting to the end of all the good stuff but I want to use it all just make sure you give it a good combing it's about right there dabbing loop Insert fox, get our length right. I'm gonna hit the end of our junction tubing here with the fox. Dubbing spinner. And brush it out. fairly limited on wraps here because I'm using 140 and this stuff builds up real quick. Pop this up. I'm going to give this a roll to kind of get our swept back action here. Take some ostrich hurl. One, two, three, four, five. I'll do five. I meant to do five of those three. Uh, now we're at six, so how about six? Get our length. Find the natural curvature of these. Six per side. I'll throw in a little decoration since we're here doing it and all. Okay. For the body, I think I'll use just mylar fuchsia large. You can get a lot more elaborate if you want. I think the main goal was to show you guys how to get these weighted bodies. If you use mylar on the body of this, you can maintain your the slimmest profile possible.
que go with some more dubbing. It's getting scraggly here. I think it's about time to get a new piece. Check for length. everything is out that I want out. One more dubbing loop. And again, this is a real dumbed down version. Get our ostrich hurl. Make sure it's all the length we want. kind of glue or residue or anything like that on your fingers it makes this ten times harder because the feathers want to stick I think we got her I'm gonna separate these out Probably should have waxed this, but why not just do it the hard way?
small little collar I'm going to use guinea silver pheasant works really good too as well as shlopin I always like adding a little collar if I can it hides the little ostrich butt ends it also just kind of finishes off nicely just to make sure that's all gonna stay put and a little zap and then move to the front of the eyes and I'm just gonna run hackle tips simple Proven All right, let's see what we think about the length here. Looks good to me. I always tie these in one at a time so I can get the angle I like. Good, I'm going to pull these back now to lock them in. A little bit more zap again. Clip our stems. Zap will take care of the glue part. Cut our tube. Give it a burn. And we got a little dense synchro fast intruder. Um, and just to give you an idea of what you can do here, so I'm not a big fan of this particular junction tubing on this particular fly, so I can just swap it and kind of change the whole mood. I'll do it up here so you can see it, but so I can just change the whole mood of this fly now. We're matched up nice. It looks a lot better. Kind of matches the whole fly better. So it's kind of cool. You can just interchange junction tubings, and they've got a bunch of these cool glittery colors and stuff. But anyway, there you go. This thing uh, will sink like a rock. Real dense. It'll stay open. 
good fly for buckets and little deep slots and corner pockets and high banking and all that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching.